Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Um, thank you for joining me and if you're new here, I um, hope you enjoy. We have loads and loads of videos, so just look in my um, playlist or on my main channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's absolutely free and I provide a video every day. Today I am painting with Amsterdam Paints and PBO. I have a pouring medium pre-made up there of the acrylic paint binder that somebody had sent to me. So I have no idea what's in it. And I added Floetrol to that. So I had 70% paint binder and 30% Floetrol. And today I'm using that semi-gloss house paint as my base paint. So I'm just in the art lab mode, testing out, um, I've been just testing different things, different products, different pouring mediums, different brand paints. And it's been a complete journey the last couple of weeks, um, testing all these different things. I've decided to go put my apron on because I have a dress that I particularly like and I didn't want to get any paint on it because I have paint on nearly everything I own here. Um, but that's that's okay that's all it's all good fun um, so yeah I'm putting the base on this lovely little gallery wrapped canvas of a deep edge that was pre-used and I obviously cleared it off and as you can tell I'm doing a voiceover so I'm just watching this back over and trying to remember exactly what I did because I'd made several videos that particular day because I was just experimenting all day. So that's my um, Amsterdam paint mixed, I think that's just the blue and now this is the turquoise PBO mixed with the in the same way as the pouring medium recipe that I would normally do. I just add it to the paint slowly until I get the correct consistency. I don't give measurements because each particular paint, even from the same brand, requires different amounts of um, pouring medium. So that is the lovely emerald green. So very happy now to announce that in Australia we can get the Amsterdam paints and the PBO from the Capriol Shabby Chic online store. The link is in the drop down box underneath this video so if you're wanting to try the PBO and Amsterdam hop over there they're really highly pigmented paint so you only really need a little bit of paint to make up um, with your pouring media so very good value and a good quality paint now I'm gonna I'm getting my little hair dryer I believe and I'm going to just give this a whole awesome blowout so um, I'm not trying to achieve a bloom effect or anything as such it's basically a Dutch pour um, on a small canvas just blown out but as I'm finding using the house paint for the base uh, this is very thick so the paint wasn't going to move. I'm sorry if I've taken that out of the frame. I found it easier to lift the canvas up to me to blow it out rather than me bend and put my big nut in front of the, my big head in front of the camera. So yeah, this was getting a little bit tedious because it just wouldn't stretch out very far. So I obviously need to maybe add some flow troll to that base paint. So you see Jilly's stance there, she's, hmm, what on earth do I do with this now? So I just start to doodle around and um, try and see what comes to mind as I'm going along. And you know, all in all, if there's something that you absolutely, it's just not doing it for you, just scrape the paint off but I really do like to then just keep trying all sorts of things because sometimes you 
you just try something and then it turns out like the absolute bomb so just keep working it working it which is what I was doing here <laughs> So I've gotten to this point not happy and I decide to do some swipes over it. I am dipping that piece of card in some uh, black that has is mixed with Floetrol so hence you get sort of lots of lacing. But it's kind of, um, this particular method is quite good to do on a whole painting because what it does is it makes it look like 3D effect. With the layering so it's quite um, interesting I've speeded up this little bit of the video so it doesn't get too tediously boring but um, well there you go and so I'm on to step two I'm bringing in the next painting while I have the paint made up and I'm gonna give the next one a little bit of um, the treatment too so here we go so uh, instead of the house paint I am now doing the uh, that one 70% pouring 70% uh, glue and 30% water that particular one and I've already added my paint to that so it's already pre-made up white paint so I'm just trying it to see if it works out better than the house paint did and I'm doing a little flip cup pour on this a flip and lip flipping and lipping it to see what we get on the second one so again it's the all the same paints just layered into that tiny little flip cut pour adding a bit of the white that has the flow troll uh, the pouring medium in it and that's one last little bit of black there that I added was the uh, Amsterdam black with flow troll so I'm just going for it going for it Pour it, flooding it with the white so the sort of paint goes underneath that white and hopefully the cells pop up through that we'll just see what happens and there's the lip so there's my flip and lip flipping and lipping it so enjoy with a bit of music I hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of a journey for me just going for it and testing it out in my art studio I really do um, like this technique of the card slide over the pour because it certainly does make the um, effects 3d so thank you for joining me and as always um, stay safe people and create and if you're feeling a bit lonely or down please seek help from a friend or chat to a friend or go get yourself some paint and create it's the best is art therapy I believe for all of us so stay safe 
uh, enjoy my video that will be up tomorrow each and every day and um, look forward to you joining me so have a great week bye for now